Okay, here we go now. <clears throat> Clearing the throat, big time, big time, big time. So we are live streaming, setting it up. There we go. We are coming in live right now, darling. We are streaming, beautiful, beautiful. As I said before, I don't mind. Uh, let me turn the volume up. Okay. So, Rosina, beautiful soul. We're doing a lot of welcome to everybody as this slowly kicks in um, to Facebook. It takes a couple of minutes for people to tune in. People know, know how it goes when you watch these videos. So, <clears throat> there's a lot of throat clearing happening with Rosanna and I. Um, we had a, a brief little uh, meeting each other for the first time behind the scenes and I asked Rosanna can we not talk too much <laughs> um, I just want to keep the energy in a lot of information has already come but first of all I just want to thank you for being so brave Rosanna and and coming here into this sacred space and for us to show what I'm calling my mystery guest and um, live from behind the golden curtain is what spirit has said today so people are quite welcome to comment and <clears throat> so this is <coughs> new beautiful clearing beautiful clearing this is new energies i will continue on so what this is is a golden opportunity that spirit has asked me to send an email to the new earth ahead of time update email contributors and someone was offered <clears throat> to come in for a live one-on-one -on -one, and it's you and Thank you, you were chosen you emailed straight back you emailed straight back and you knew how did you feel what what did you feel when the question was asked about um this one-on-one -on -one that I normally do sorry darling I normally do this behind the scenes I don't this is the first time I am showing this live or what I do in a one-on-one -on -one with someone behind the scenes so that's why I've called it behind the golden curtain um yeah so what did you feel when you got the email I, I was actually reading I was lying on the round reading and all of a sudden I was just guided to log into my email on my laptop which was a bit of a pain because I was just resting reading and then I saw it and it was just, I don't know, it was just, it, it was just something I had to apply for. I knew I needed it. Mm. I knew I was ready to jump off the cliff, basically. <clears throat> There's a new song by Pink called Trustful and I was going to yes. share it. It's Trustful, Trust the Fall. So Okay, so what we've done already, oh, there's some heavy energies. So when we were in talking together beforehand, and it's, I was letting um, Rosanna, our beautiful Rosanna, know, and this is Anastasia Blue Beyond Guide. Welcome to those of you that don't know this energy or have not been on this um, channel before, because this will go to YouTube. So as you can tell, Rosanna's from Australia as well. It could have been anybody from anywhere in the world, and it just happens that you're from Australia as well. And before we came in, we, we've done a, a little bit of healing already, releasing a worldwide scale of energies. That's why we come in <laughs> coughing, coughing, clearing <laughs> <our thoughts. laughs> of the energies because to create a brand new energy in New Earth 5D, residing in 5D and helping another soul to anchor in is a very big deal energetically. Many people, and I say this in respect, and now I've got golden and rainbow colours streaming through you right now, upgrading you, Rosanna, um, <clears throat> are talking about New Earth Ascension and, and doing videos, yet we are different. This is different here today. And the difference with us here today, Rosanna, is you're choosing to embody and you're not. we're not just working up. Yeah, there's a solar plexus releasing. We're not just working up in the astrals. I'm seeing a lot of um, <clears throat> people writing about New Earth and people doing videos and New Earth Ascension interview series. And I'm seeing all these sorts of, and what it is is those souls are learning to grow into 
5D, whereas I've already been in 5D for 18 years and I've anchored that energy in, in a very new way. I'm no hero when I say that. It's just part of my role as a trailblazer, ascension pioneer. And as I'm talking, Rosanna, I can feel your energy linking in with me and I can feel thoughts starting to come down and process. Is there anything you'd like to share at the moment that's come? Um, no, I'm just feeling a lot in my throat, my heart chakra. Beautiful. Um, yeah, it's the mind is actually resting. Uh, I'm great with words, but the mind has been told it needs to rest. And when you say the mind's been told, where's now what I'm doing now is I'm starting to tune in more with your energy. I'm going to not block everybody out, but I'm going to zone everybody else out that's watching this. I'm just going to focus on you like I would if we were in that private one-on-one. -on -one. So we're going to go with, um, so you're feeling that light and the high heart upgrade and you're saying the mind is resting. So what you tell me and what I feel and pick up energetically can often be different things yep. <laughs> because I'm picking up what's behind. So um, I'm just looking into you in spirit and I can see shadow energies in spirit. Now, when I say in spirit, <clears throat> there's another you, there's soul and then there's yeah. spirit. When I talk about spirit, um, it's a link to your higher self, which is linked to your monad, which is a shade away from God, source, creator. Yeah. So in with your higher self energy in spirit, there is a lot of shadow energies there in spirit. So it feels like you've broken through some shadow energies just to be here on this planet this time. Yeah. So I've also was picking up, now this is a bit different. Um, I'm still adjusting to doing this live. This still is not in the natural flow of how I would do a live one-on-one -on -one. and we will get there because I'm processing yep. and feeling a whole heap of energies. I'm being very consciously aware and just readjusting, readjusting. So there was four things that came through because you felt the energies yesterday of coming on here and I was yeah. with you as well with spirit. And one thing, four things that picked up, you got very strong connections with Lemuria energies. Yes. You've very got a very, very strong connection with nature. Very. And when Spirit showed me that, I went, well, that's why well, that's can fuck up a lot of people that have got a very, very strong link with nature is that you're extra super sensitive. You'll pick up things more. And it's, it's um, <clears throat> shit, I'm empathic and sensitive. Yet people that have that really, really, really strong nature elemental energy are super, super sensitive. And things need to be handled in, 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 in it much gentler and in different ways now you're nodding how can you relate to that oh I've, I've felt everything throughout my life when I was a child I used to talk to the fairies and the leprechauns in the garden because I saw them they were they were my friends they were my family um and life's been you've tough been, so you've been balancing two worlds for a very long time the spirit and the human realm for a long time since I was born, I knew Earth wasn't my home. I couldn't relate to humans. I, I just wanted to go home. And I tried numerous times to go home, but I was meant to be here. And how do you feel about that now, honey? Um, I've been doing a lot of shamanic work to connect to Mother Earth and to connect, to connect to my body and to be grounded in my body and not dissociate. So I've done a lot of work. I've done a lot of work. And how... The two other things that come up here, because at the is your nerves are shot, yeah, and there's other anger. That's the, they're the other messages. Your nerves are shot, yep. not just you, everybody. My nervous system is so shot from years and years, as you said. Like I have a saying, people say you're ready, and it just comes out of my mouth, born ready. That's 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 my instant mm -hmm. comeback. I was born ready, so I really can relate to what you're saying. Beautiful. So very much understand, know what you mean. You've had a tougher role. Spirit is now saying to me because you've had to push through a lot of old paradigms to even get here because you brought through with you in this lifetime old anger. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you're these are the messages from spirit, and then we just discover, <laughs> explore what what spirit means by that so with this old anger you're nodding does that resonate for you oh absolutely I was um I, I I guess I was I'm angry at my parents I was abused by both parents but I'm angry at the world and the inhumanity of the world and the lack of compassion of the world and the way we treat mother earth 
And you're still feeling this way? Um, not as much. No, not as much. Which is a very natural thing I do too. Don't worry. I feel that all of us do. It's how we deal with it now and handle it. So, okay. So because of the abuse, I can feel when people have been through abuse, what I feel is energetic walls of protection and I can feel your walls of protection. And even though you've come here to bear and share with us, I can feel your walls and I need to, we need to shift that. Yep. Okay, yep. and that's what yep. I'd like to do. So we don't Absolutely. know till someone, yeah, till someone shares with. I'm just, it's still hot here. I'm just going to put my fan on. <laughs> so have you, have you, where have you in making peace? Just a question. There is no right or wrong. Never is. Yep. There's no good or bad. There just is. I read that the other day, and I just love yep. it. It's our mind that thinks that something is good or bad. So, you know, I, I deal with a lot of people with abuse of all sorts and addictions and the really, really, really heavy, 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 deep stuff. So um, I'm just working with spirit now with those energy walls and I can see the energy walls are starting to, because you have trust and faith mm -hmm. and you're, you're owning this opportunity. You're doing that. So you, you like me, like others, don't tell us what to do. I have a saying, don't tell me what to fucking do. Don't touch the wet paint. I'll touch the wet paint. You're <laughs> like that and then some. Yes. You're like that, but then you're going to take it a step further and you're then going to double, don't tell me what to fucking do. Double. And I'm not going to say double trouble at all. I'm going to call it yep. a double blessing. <laughs> <laughs> because now it's your time to shine. So yeah. I want you to be honest with me here. And, and, and in you telling me all of that, I really need to dig a little bit deeper. Yep. You want to dig deeper. When I say I, I'm a mirror and a higher yep. vibrational version of you for you. So your yep. process, you can see you taking in a lot and processing right now. You're working with a lot of energies. So yep. thank you for allowing me to help you to help yourself because that's, I feel actually honored. Thank that's you. a very good thing. It's not lost on me. I just want to let you know that. Yep. And as I said at the beginning, you, you, you've you been in some really dark stuff. Really, yep. I can feel it. I could sense it. You said, oh, I need to go get the tissues. I'm like, it's okay. We'll be safe. I've got you back. I'll keep you safe. Like, I wasn't always held. People didn't always know when they would talk to me or if I was interviewed or, or whatever. As I said before, people didn't sort of know how to hold my space and people would come from 3D. And 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 and, and I was sort of saying to you at the beginning that I, I've got you here. I, I've got you. I'm not going to reveal anything that, 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 whatever it's whatever you want to share the more yep. that you tackle talk and share the more that is being released yes yes and transmuted so yep. I'm and i know you go. i know that my journey will actually help other other people so i know if i have the courage to to be completely vulnerable and raw that's going to help other people because silence creates shame and stigma and was there silence when you were growing up? Absolutely. We, absolutely. What ways, darling? Just give me a general, don't need to go nitty goodies, just a general uh, idea. Just of, didn't talk just with it. Nobody, nobody acknowledged or talked about the abuse or the, the mental health issues or it just wasn't talked about. Mm -hmm. It was ignored. It didn't happen. It wasn't happening. And can I ask what year were you born in? 67. Okay, so I'm only a couple of years older. So when I was saying I picked up your Blu-ray, very much, very much Blu-ray energies. And we witnessed a lot and we were part of a lot and we felt and absorbed everything. And then for you to have abuse on top of that, there's different forms of abuse. Was it emotional, physical, sexual? Uh, all of the above. Okay, so I commend you on... Uh, choosing that all of the above to experience in this lifetime, sister, like, woohoo, go you. I say that lightly. I know. Because we, because we do need to lighten up yep. and come up with a bigger picture and it's not taken away from what you've been through. 
But Absolutely. I've learned with traumas that to lighten the fuck up with that and just go, ha, did I really choose? Did I really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, it stops with you, doesn't it? It stops Absolutely. with you. It was not going to yeah. go any further. So thank you for being, because that could have been my role. I could have chosen that role too. And you could have mm. chosen mine. And I often say this to women, I could be you. I could be in your situation. Yep. So I just want to commend you for your strength. You haven't done what I've done, the military service and did the trailblazing for women and all this stuff and creating legislation rules. But that makes no difference because you're a hero behind the scenes with what you've put up with and dealt with. And that needs to be tabled and it needs to be honoured. So that's going to release right now that you've mentioned that on a worldwide scale. So that energy is releasing. Where are you at now with making peace with yourself? Where are you, where do you feel you are in your journey process with the abuse? If I, there was one thing you wanted to ask me, sorry, darling, I asked you and I'd jump in with me. When um, it's 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 working with the energies coming in, I've got a voice and then slow them down. So it's what people yeah. don't not realize, I know you know, bless, is that I'm working and you get it. You let me go yep. with the flap and I'll pull back and I'll ask and I'll jump in and you understand that I'm really feeling and embodying both the energies in my 9D vessel to help you to upgrade. So these are different to others. Others will allow other people to talk more, whereas mine, I'll be talking. I end up talking a lot because I'm processing all the energies and I'm slowing it all down and we're starting to slow the energies down right now. And if there was one question that you needed to ask me, what would you ask? Um, intimate relationships and my divine beloved, what's stopping me from manifesting that, bringing that into my life? Beautiful question. These are questions I get asked a lot by people. And I will say what I always say with everybody where is your connection within yourself with yourself? Where is your love with yourself? I, your I, I would, I would say I'm, I, I, I have reached a place of deep self-love and self-respect. And um, let everything else go then. Then you let it go. That searching for your beloved, for your one, no longer exists anymore in New Earth Ascension. Can I say that to you? Well, I yeah, can. Absolutely. So I'd like to say to you what many people ask me this. Blesses the solar plexus. And I will re-remind everybody that. Really? Because in fact, if you're feeling very settled with yourself, it still feels like there's something missing. Even though you said those words, you've, you've mm. said to me that you feel, now I'm feeling anger release. So I just want to verbalize to you that anger is releasing. So whether you yep. feel it in your energy feel, I'm now releasing anger. So I'm going to push through that anger. I'm going to keep talking. Yep. Um, so if you were really working on focusing on you only and your, that does not matter about somebody outside of you. So when you say, when is my beloved coming? Your beloved is you. And you're linked with the divine. And I need to be honest and say that because yeah. it's, it's, it's whatever you're looking or asking about that. Thank you for asking. It's still looking outside of you. We can wonder, we can think about it, we can ponder. And then darling, we surrender, we hand over and we come back inward. So do you feel there's something missing? I think it's, I've led a very lonely life, a very, very lonely life. Very, I've walked the path alone. I haven't had a, a, a support network or a social network. Um, mm -hmm. Because of the journey I've been on and the experiences I've had. And so it's um, when the shit hits the fan, it's up to me to clean it up. Um, so it, it's been a hard life not having a support system or a social network. I want you to just take a moment and feel into that. I just want you to take a moment and feel into that because I've got tears that are coming with you with that one because that one's pretty big. We can't skip over that one. We need to slow down and we just need to feel the emotion of you sharing that with me so we can feel it together 
And I really mean that. I really mean that. It's, 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 so I hear where you're coming from and you're like, you know what, I've done it for so long. When can I have someone to, to be a partner to support me to, yeah. Um, I am still going to stick with the same thing that I hear you. And the only person you can rely on is you and your link with the divine. If anybody else comes, so be it. I would love to just gently, I hear you. I get what you're saying. That's the human that, that's saying that. And I just want to reassure you about your link with the divine and spirit is your love is number one. Yeah. When you're ready and when you're ready for that beloved, that person to come, if you take your focus off it, you know the old adage, you don't focus yeah. on it. Yeah. It's it's remind yourself every time you find your focus and I and I hear you and spirit hears you when you say, Can I just have someone? I've been doing this by myself all alone. And I want you to say now, now that you're in this community energy with the emails and with Anastasia Blue Beyond Guide, I trust that you're not feeling as lonely. I know we're not compensating for a partner, but I trust that you're not feeling as lonely now because we're all coming together to create a new earth and we're all re-meeting and we're all mm. just beginning. So anything can be on the horizon for you to do with that area. That excites me. Mm. All you focus here yeah. and surrender and pray in our spirit and you hand over from your heart and get on your knees and you don't have to, and cry and sob mm. and release it. And once you hand that over and get on with your life, that is the best thing you can do because when you let it go, yeah, create a gap in a space and then spirit can bring someone in. So I can only encourage you to keep releasing that more yeah. and accept that we ultimately do need to do it on our own. There's a big healing coming in. Golden light is coming into you now. And when and if someone needs to come and support you, that will happen. The rest of the time is focusing on you. Just bear with me with that, sister. There's, there's people writing comments here. There isn't a better space to be raw and real than here. Bless others. It's huge, the loneliness of this path. And I do understand uh, what you mean with that. Being an Ascension Pioneer trailblazer, bearing and sharing my heart with you, sister, is that I had no one on mine as well and I was breaking through for humanity as a human template and being the only female in the military to stand up against the males and say, well, why can't a female do that? And rocking up, borrowing men's clothes to be the first female to march on Anzac Day and being the first female to do a lot of things. I really do personally understand about the loneliness as well. Mm. And it's part of the journey. I just wanna say that no longer is the case with you. And if you're lonely inside, then you're lonely for you. Yeah. More of you. So can you feel the warmth coming in your heart and your solar plexus, darling? I'd love you to place your hand on your higher heart and your solar plexus because there's some beautiful warmth coming in to reassure you. Pink on your heart um, and green and yellow on your solar plexus. And I want to reassure you that you've got this. We've got this. You've been acknowledged for everything that you've been going through. This is a brand new slate, a brand new energy from today. And, and you can feel the world's energy washing over you, releasing, releasing. This is not a one-stop fix today's session. This is a part of a journey as we ascend up the spiral to let you know. And beautiful Rosemary wrote, surrendering and handing everything over to the divine is the biggest and hardest thing to do. But boy, oh boy, when you do, it's better than freedom. Pauline shares, I feel Rosanna is telling my life story exactly. Thank you so much for opening up my still old wounds for me to release as well. Bless you. It's another message in comments. And you're doing it out of self-love, not out of ego. I'm going to get on and do a video because it's going to help other people. You're not doing it from that space. No. And that's what makes us different. That's what stands us apart. You can take your hands off, leave them on, whatever you want to do. Someone else wrote, oh, my God, nerve shot. So big release is happening. Good morning, you amazing women. Beautiful. She's already helping. Susie's saying you're already helping her. Rosemary said, I've always got your back. So that's beautiful. Thank you, Masters. Thank you. 
And Susie said, uh, Pauline, me as well. Pauline said, you're telling their story. So there's already comments by people saying that, but we want to just shift that out because it's not about them. This is about getting into you. <laughs> so yep. I just wanted to let you know that's what's happening with people that are watching this, that are sharing. So I can feel some strength coming through you right now. Are you? How are you feeling with that? Yeah, there was uh, a shifting in the solar plexus. Okay, yep. Um, I know I'm a strong person. Now, I, there's there's no doubt about the fact that I'm a strong yeah. person. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. So you tell me some things now. I'm going to hold the space as a Blu-ray uh, yeah. because as a Blu-ray, uh, I've written posts about this before. I'm not going to go into that now. Um, we're empaths. We're here to change the world. We were, we were the lost raiders. We were the empaths that felt everything. Uh, there was so much to about Blu-rays and as a Blu-ray sister holding space, I'm just going to sit back a little bit and hold space with you because you're pretty amazing. I don't know you. I've never met you from today. I've never mm. met you. It's the first time I met you. So I'm going to hold space with you. There may be something you need to share at this moment. So we're a bit of a halfway point here. So is there something you'd like else that you'd like to share or do you want me to keep going with spirit? Uh, just keep going. Beautiful. Because you're processing. Yeah. How did you know to trust me? Um, I feel energies also. Yep. And I've been following you for a while. And uh, I knew we'd meet at some stage. I just didn't know when or how. Or, yeah. So you're a wise old woman as well uh, that was cramped into this little body as a baby and a child coming in. Yeah. Okay, so that's tough. I can feel that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people can say, yep. So we're just, I'm just going back to birth. Yeah. And, and my I'm twin died. My twin brother died in utero. Throw that in. And I was, yeah, and I was uh, born at 27 weeks. So I was preemie. And I was meant to be the boy, not the girl. What does that mean? Well, I was meant to be Vince. You were meant to be what, darling? Vince, the boy. Yep. Yeah. But the boy died in utero. I should say that. Mm. Because before I came in, I had a choice. I was taken through a process years ago. And it was, do you want to be boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl? And last minute I went girl. Yet I have a lot of, I joined the military. I love the rifle shooting. I love the boy stuff. So I can relate a little bit to what you're saying about uh, meant to be in the boy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think my parents wanted the boy to live and the girl to die. They wanted a boy, basically. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm getting a pain in my right side. Whenever I get this pain, it means I'm shifting some heavy shit. So this is really heavy, what we're doing mm. here, the healing. So I'm just going to keep going and stretch yep. and, and, and work with this energy that's coming through. You even saying that is releasing and healing it. See, when I uh, come in with people and do a one-on-one, -on -one, I actually embody the energies with the divine and I process through my embodiment for that soul. So I will feel all sorts of things that you'll either feel or won't feel, and I'll transmute it at a ninth dimensional level to release it. So I'm just then I feel like there's something else I need to tell you. Yes. Um, the sexual abuse was by my mother. Which is not as common as the males. But yeah. then again, then again, more common than what we may realise that comes out. How do you feel about saying that? It's tough. There's a lot of, there's, a, there's an actually a lot more shame that it's your mother. Because is it really sexual abuse? Yeah, or is it love? Mm -hmm. And that's what it's no. keep. You have been very confused. And what, what have you done with that since then? That um, Worked with a therapist, but most of them don't want to touch it because they don't know how to, how to, how to work with it. Um, yeah. yeah, they don't want to touch it. It's just 
put in the too hard basket. Oh, darling. Yeah. So what have you done with it then? If they haven't helped you, what have you done to help come to terms with uh, peace and deal with that? Because we're not going to cover all that in this time. That's that's the whole. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're just, just trying, really trying, trying to work with the divine feminine and embrace my divine feminine. Um, yeah, and heal my divine feminine. And where have you, I'm just going to tread gently here. We're not going to go into this too much at the moment. Yeah. And I want to share with you while we're working with those energies is I was guided to draw three runes as we're talking. I'm not taken away from what you just shared because people are relating. People are saying you're doing amazing. They're saying to you, you've got this. Um, they're saying to fake such abandonment wounds head on publicly is so very courageous. Thank you for sharing your story. A true light bringer you are. Shana is sending you love. So as other women are feeling compassion for what that would mean, that's um, because you could say it's pretty fucked up. It is what it is. And what's happening for you right now, beautiful? What are you feeling? Oh, just sadness for the little girl. For little Rosie. So I've done a lot of work with little Rosie, but just a lot of sadness. So if I ask you to picture Rosie right now, can you see her? Yes. And where is she and what is she doing? Um, I've got her in my heart chamber and she's got a little puppy dog, a little white furry puppy dog. <laughs> Um, huh. So I've created a, a, a little house for her, but it's in my heart chamber. Okay. So she's safe and protected in there? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So with that vision of her in your heart chamber, how, from an outsider looking in, how is she feeling in there? Lonely. Okay. So can we open the door to that chamber and can you open the door? Yeah. And go into a little visit or even open a window and a peek. Let me know yep. what, where you're at. Uh, yep, she's in my arms. So I've opened the door and she's run out into my arms. Okay, now that happened very quickly. So I want you to slow down and go back a pace. Yep. Now she's in your heart chamber because I do inner child work differently. I do interdimensional, I do multidimensional. I've seen more than one in a child. I haven't written a book about this because it's too precious. So I'm just giving it to you straight from what be in the book. Yep. So you went very quickly. I want to slow it down. You went very quickly quickly to her being your heart chain. Oh, and open the door, she come my arms. I'm like, whoa, that was way too quick for what I want to do. So I want to slow okay. this down again. And I want you to yep. see her in the heart chamber with me. Mm -hmm. And I want you, keep your eyes closed, please, beautiful. I want you to open a window. Mm -hmm. I want you to open the door. I just want you to open the window and she's in there. Yep. And has she noticed you at the window? Uh, yeah. She's and is in she the corner. Up? Okay, she's yep. in the corner. So is yeah. she okay with you to come in slowly? Yes. So I want you to then go to a door mm -hmm. and I want you to stay with me and slow down with this. I want you to open the door. Is she okay with you opening the door? Yeah. Is there a look in her eyes? Can you sense what she's feeling or thinking? Slow this right down, beautiful. Really take your time with this and honor this. Is she, well, how is she reacting? What is she doing? She's, she's a bit fearful. She's moved back a bit. There um, you go. Okay. So I want you to just take one little step forward to slowly mm -hmm. shuffle one step and see her reaction. She's okay. And I want you to say to her, I love you. I'm here for you. You don't need to be alone anymore. I want you to stand where you are. And I want you to say those words, please. I love you. I'm here okay. for you. And you don't need to be alone anymore. And she's listening and I can see the sadness in the eyes. I feel her crying in relief. And she's saying, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. And she's just happy with you to stand in that doorway. That's all for now. You've got to go that slow, darling. And we'll talk about this another time in emails and I'll help you work with her. But I want you to understand you've just put the two of you in your heart chamber. 
Yeah. And this needs to be slow. So how what it, how she, how is she reacting at the moment? Where, where do you see her at? Um, she's excited but apprehensive. So there's a bit of both. Well, she has to learn to trust you, because to her, she was abandoned. She'll be angry at you. Go with me on this. Just go with me. We don't know to explore. Can you see her anger? Ask her. Can you ask her, are you angry or what are you angry with me about? Because well, she's angry. What is she angry about? You just gently ask her. She thinks I forgot her. There you go. And what are you going to answer back to her? I want to hear those words as you say them to her. Sweetie, I didn't forget you. No. I'm so very sorry that it took me so long to come back. But I was always thinking about you. You were always in my heart and I always loved you. I never stopped loving you. And open your arms and see if she comes into your arms. Please take your time. Don't push her. Go slow. Are you opening your arms? Yeah. How's she reacting? Um, very tentatively. And you're going to tell her we've got time. There is no rush. You will always be here for her. You always have been. Yeah. And I will never leave you again. And she just needs to hear that. And I felt that depression in the heart right now with that. You're getting to reno your inner child. It's a little process. It's going to take a little time, but you're in the heart chamber. What's happening now? Uh, she's walking towards me. I'm hugging her. And she's very wobbly, very frail, very fragile. I can feel that she's quite shaky. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to share your scene? Because I'm getting some things. What, what, where are you at seeing now? Yeah, nothing else I need to share. So if you're holding her, she's very, yeah. very wobbly. She's very, she needs comforting, soothing. I would suggest, recommend what's happening now. I'm just stroking the back of her head. Beautiful. How are you feeling as the adult comforting her? Really good. You're feeling more complete. I'm just getting a sense of feeling a completeness. See, this is what you were missing, not a beloved outside. That will come later. This union within, with her, yeah. and each day, because it's been a lot of abuse and trauma for many years for us young ladies, like our ages, very young. You missed the joke. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> I'm just, oh, I'm saying us young ladies born in 65 and 67. <laughs> Darling, what this is from here, I'm going to shift it. Look at your smile already. Your energy, there's a vibrancy, there's a peace. From, this is the beginning of the end of the O. Mm. And I would encourage yeah. you each day to go really slow with this. But I would like to point out, not in a judging way, that see how quick your mind rushed. Yes. Oh, yeah. Or I got her. And this is for yeah. everybody. And I go, no, actually, this process is different. So see how when you slowed it down, beautiful, we're able to see that. And I'd yeah. love you to work on that every day, whenever you feel, to go in and check on her. And this is a reminder for everyone and even me, check in, where is your inner child? Where is, yeah. forget about all the other inner child processes. And I want to assure you that we can work on what you've got that's happened to you. It's not too big for me. We can do this personally, privately in other sessions. This is yeah. the top fact that you so bravely, look at your energy. You are clearer. Let me know how you're feeling. I'm doing the talking. How are you feeling? Um, there's, there's definitely light coming down through here. 
So it's like a channel is being cleared from above. Um, but it's stopping at the solar plexus, but that's okay. Because that's your place of power. Um, and, and, mm. and, and it's good that you mentioned that. And I'll feel into Thank you for telling me. I'll feel into if we're going to clear your solar plexus while we're on today. Because I'm getting to start winding up because that was really big what we've done today. And I would encourage you each day to get in that connection with her. Have patience. Go really slow with her. And what yep. actually happens is, there goes the solar plexus release, is with her in your arms, she will melt into your soul and come into your heart and you will be at one with her. That is the process, the next step. But we need right. to go slow with you because of all the other yep. things that have happened to you. But that's the process. And that is a coming home that's only done once. Yep. You don't need to redo that one again. Is there anything else you'd like to share? No. Okay. Okay, so the runes that came for you, which people relate to runes and they're a validation of what we've already said. In the early days, it's what I used cards and runes to help me connect. But when you grow further, you actually don't use them because you become your own direct yeah. link and chat. But I like to utilize them with people. And the one that came up for you for the past is the self reverse, which is it be clear with yourself. Do not turn to others, but look inside in silence for the enemy of your progress. Um, you will recognize the outer enemy, but a reflection of what you've until now been able or willing to recognize is coming from within, breaking the momentum of past habits in the life of spirit. You're always at the beginning. And that is very much what we've covered about this is about you. Don't look outside. This is about you. We yep. did this with the inner child. You you went into your heart chamber. That is huge and life-changing in itself, sister. That's a very first of a new beginning of a new seed for you. Yep. The seed of the new, the potential is in the shell of the old, and that's where you're at with this. And Spirit said, slow down to catch up with yourself. Slow down to catch up with yourself. Someone wrote, what an amazing healing to witness. Thank you both so much. So I'm now, as we're talking, we're finishing up. I'm going to read the other two runes, sweetheart. And what yep. I, what's releasing is massive grief and depression is now starting to lift you. Because in Spirit, I see a big ball of energy and you've been holding this big, this big of grief and depression. So I'd love you to put your arms out with me. And for anyone else that wants to release in spirit, a collective size, grief and depression. And we see this big bubble, use your imagination. And we lift this bubble like Atlas living, lifting the world up. We lift this bubble up of grief and depression. And you've got to want to let it go. So I'd love to see you flick your fingers because part of you is hanging on to that. That's it. And I'd love you to keep doing that because you tend to keep the grief and depression. So for you, yeah. a bespoke healing is what you're doing right now. That is going to do wonders for you. Yeah. Anytime you're feeling anyone heavy, see, you're loving it. Bog down, just piss that shit off. <laughs> Did I just yeah. say that long? Did I just say that long? <laughs> Am I an Aussie or what, Rosie? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't stop it. <laughs> See, keep going. Joy. I, I, I just, happiness, joy and abundance is coming up. So what's is yep. yellow? That's the yellow from your solar plexus. So yep. I'd love to see from here, black gunk just pouring out, just streaming all that old black gunk. There it goes. Can you feel it? Yep. Even if you can't, it's okay. I can see it. It's a, like a big core, like a big tumour. Have you had tummy issues? Um, no, well, I've had eating disorders, so. I would say that's tummy issues. So, <laughs> bless, honey. You can keep going with your arms if you want, unless you're tired. You're making me tired. <laughs> you can do whatever you like. But just... Um, just I see black going. tar coming out of, my, out of my solar plexus. That's it. That's the black gunk. 100%. Keep seeing the tar. Keep, let's do it together. Let's you keep visualizing that, pulling it out, and I'll keep reading the runes. We're going to do this together. Yeah. Excuse me. 
such a lady, but that is the old releasing when we burp. So Spirit's asking for you to rub your solar plexus as a form of self-soothing. Do you do that often? Yes, all the time. <laughs> I sleep with my hand on my solar plexus. That's your soothing. Okay, are yes. you placing any crystals on your solar plexus at all? Yes, I've got a citrine that I place on my solar plexus. Okay, you're cleansing it often. It's not enough. You're going to need to do a little bit more than the citrine. Okay, Spirit is saying. Right. Have you got three quartz? Um, no. Oh, okay. Next time you're out, it'll, a piece will pick you. Place the clear quartz or the kyanite on your solar plexus. And okay. at the back, remember we've got the back of our chakra. That's for another yep. time. And that's yep. for not for now. That's just tips and, and tricks. So just yep. keep visualising. Let me see what others are saying here. Well done, Rosanna. Home for you at this moment. Thank you, sister, for your transparency and healing. I've got a baby magpie right here at my feet coming in to bless you as well. Hello, darling. You're coming for Rosie? Here you go. <laughs> So what I'm doing now for you in the unseen, in spirit, I'm doing a cleansing of past, present, future. It's called the clock removal. Rosie, I'll send you um, a link. Are you okay there? I can see you leaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to send you a copy of the clock removal and, yep. and, and explain what I'm doing in spirit. I'm doing a clock removal on you right now. Past, present, future, timelines and dimensions. Yep or negative energies, entities, hooks, cords, ties and connection like a giant clock, the hand, one o'clock, two o'clock. It's like a scraper and I'm scraping all this old energy and beautiful violet flame is coming down and filling you up. And I'm, I'm packing quite a lot in this session because it's going live. Trying to keep the birdies away and quiet. One's here, right? Anyway, I've got to keep going. So slowing it down, slowing it down, three o'clock, four o'clock, filling you up with violet flame, five o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, like a paint or, or like a scraper when someone lays cement, they get the scraper and they smooth it. It's like that. We're just smoothing yep. all those yucky bits. Visuals are everything. 5D and beyond is all visuals, everybody. That's how it is. So you need to be a clear vessel and channel. And being honest with yourself, oh, it's very heavy. We're here at the last bits between 10 and 12, 11 o'clock. There it goes, collapsing, collapsing. And what I can see is a rip in your aura and energy, and I'm going to sew it up like a spiritual surgery, and I'm going to slowly, like, darn it. It's like a pie slice that's open, and we're just going to slowly, slowly, slowly. So your aura was torn into, darling. So we're just going to gently put a little mending, like a little mending patch from past trauma. Can you feel something closed then? Uh, there's a lot of gurgling in my, in my tummy. There you go. That's enough. There we go. So that's just a little beautiful little patch. Chris Rat, very powerful, moving one-on-one -on -one live divine healing. Bless you both for showing up, bravely shining your light. Much love and strength to you as you move forward with your journey from here in a new way, Rosanna. So is there anything you'd like to say to those people that you don't need to? Because we're really trying to keep our focus on our one-on-one. -on -one. If you feel to say, any, say anything, that's up to you. If not, we can just stay in our space. I'm just offering you that opportunity. Do you want to say anything? Just thank you. I mean, that's there's uh, nothing much else except thank you from my heart. And that's enough. We get it. Those of us that feel, we understand. And that we are in this together, darling. Everyone's on board supporting and, and thanking you. And, 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 and that's important to know. So your next rune is the rune of terminations and new, new beginnings. <laughs> the form must die so the new can be released in a new form. This is a rune of passage and a part of the cycle of initiation. So today, coming on live, is termination and new beginnings, positive growth and change, however, may involve a descent into darkness. And that's what we were talking about, that descent into the darkness. 
as in nature, yeah. this progression consists of five aspects, death, decay, fertilization, gestation, and rebirth. So events occurring now will prompt you to undergo a death within yourself. Remind you, you ready for what, what this rune says? It, you ready? Remember what I said before? Yeah. Remain mindful that the new form, the new life is always greater than the old. The seed of the new is in the shell of the old. Remain mindful that the new form, the new life is always greater than the old. And that's your golden, your golden divine healing gift message is that. Wow, darling, how does that feel? Whew. Wow, I'm 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 processing. <laughs> I know. Um, it's pretty intense. Yeah. And your last rune is new beginnings. <laughs> the kin to the moon, the intuitive part of your nature. It's a universal need to share, yearning to be desired, a search after similarities. All the birds are agreeing. It's a mark <laughs> of a time of joyful deliverance, a new life, a new path, a rune of great power. You now have the strength to achieve completion resolution from which becomes a new beginning. Be centered, grounded, freeing yourself from unwanted influences. See the humor. You are indeed prepared to open yourself to the will of heaven and wait your deliverance with calm certainty. You may be required to free yourself from a rut, habit, or relationship, or some deep behavioral pattern that was quite proper to the self you're leaving behind. Enter the delivery room now. Darling, this has been so beautiful with you today. Thank and, you. Uh, I have a baby at my feet. You can hear a squawking. And I'm, I'm, I'm just going to focus on you, but it's just they're here to support you. You can't make this up. I've got four of them hounding in, and they come when certain souls. So they're feeling your connection. And there's a book, Return of the Bird Tribes. Have you ever heard of it? I think I have. I've never seen it, but I've heard the name. Okay, you can get it on um, Kindle. You can get it. It's one that my beautiful sister, Tanya right, Phoenix. Yeah. yeah, good idea. And it is an incredible book by Ken Carey, K-E-N-C-A-R-E-Y. Yep. You will love, you will love that book, darling. You will love that book. And the other one is Emergence by Karen Bishop. This was the lady that years ago, when I first started, I couldn't, uh, when I first started, she was the only one I could relate to. And then she was like the trailblazer for humanity before me. And she had to pull back because it's too hard. It really is hard yakka being a trailblazer ascension pioneer. So those are yep. the two, this, these will help you and hold you in that energy space, darling. And we'll get a copy to you. If you, if you can't get them, if you don't have the funds, whatever, I'll work something out with you. We'll get you a copy of them, all right, darling? Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's, um, I don't know, I, I, I pinch myself because like I said, I knew we were going to meet at some stage. I've been following you for years and I knew we were going to meet at some stage. I just didn't know when or how. And, you know, I haven't been working for 18 months because I wasn't vaccinated, so I lost my job. And, and it was like, well, there's no way I'm going to meet her now because I don't have the funds. And this is just, yeah, this is just... Uh, yeah so thank you thank you it's a little bliss ball of energy oh you are so welcome and i just want to say to people that are caught up in that i and no disrespect to you saying that that i don't have the yeah. money i don't have the funds everybody that is 3d words this is all about energy exchange it's not about yeah. money and i've been bankrupt a couple of times i've lost money i've had money so i really do know what i'm talking about when i say it really is energy and this is proof it doesn't matter who you are, where you are, the divine sees you. You are a spark like me of the divine, Rosanna. Mm -hmm. And I want to honour and thank you for going through all of that personal trauma that you went through, sister, to be here today for a new beginning. I assure you that is over. And we will continue if we're guided to work further with this, yep. with your child. But this is about welcome home to you, sister, today. 
is a new beginning. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very excited. I'm, I'm very excited about my life and I've never really been excited about my life. It's just been about existence and making sure I stay here and not disappear. So thank you. Well, other times you didn't make it. So, yeah, you do have a purpose. You're not done. You're not done, mm. sister. You're not yeah, done. No. You are so very welcome. You're so brave. I love you so much. Um, I will share this and I'll put this on YouTube. And if anybody wants to join, the Oracle Speaks at BigPond.com is the email list, New Earth Ascension Ahead of Time updates. That is where Rosanna got the link. And I mm. will be offering once a month different things. I'm not going to say because... Your energy, you just didn't write yes and then not read the finer print. You wrote back and said, and I felt your energy. There is a difference. People are writing back in emails and not connecting. That won't fly with me. Your heart and soul needs to be in this. And, and, and that's how ascension is. Your heart and your soul needs to be involved. So to all of those souls that are watching you today, I've got people saying, bless you, beautiful soul. So beautiful to meet you, Rosanna. Uh, thank you for your assistance, Magpie. Kylie says she can definitely see the new light beaming from you, Rosanna. Thank you, Kylie. Thank you. Sorry, before I wasn't here, I was processing, so I couldn't really take it's in anything okay. what anybody was saying. It's very okay. It's okay. And what we learn is, is we don't need to apologise the more that we grow. Something a friend of mine is helping me with, don't say sorry. And it's something that it's very okay. You're feeling the energies. You're in the mm. moment. You're just being your beautiful, raw self. That's enough for us. We're honoured that you've blessed us with your energy today. You're very powerful, darling. Very powerful. Okay, I see you. They're going nuts. Can you hear them? <laughs> All right, darling, bless. Love you so much. You Thank have you. a great Sunday. What a blessing, blessing, blessing this has been. This will also be broadcast on YouTube, and I will talk to you behind the scenes in, in emails from his sister. All right, darling, yep. so much. Thank you. Bless. And thank you, everybody, for joining and contributing. For whoever this healing is for, this is going out on a brand new platform. A brand new energy was created today. Go the Blu rays, is all I will say. <laughs> And thank you everybody thank you for your for your presence and your energy and your support beautiful and thank you all right bless we're going all right Bye, darling everyone. lots of love everyone see you next time bye, -bye. bye, -bye.